it's Baroness Jenny from the Baron's Party Plays talking about the deep cuts bone golem I painted up. Weirdly because this one got a lot of traction when I posted a picture of it, so hey, whatever floats your boat people. As always, just using Citadel Miniatures paint here. I'll be honest, he was such an easy paint, mostly because he is just really big blocks of colour. So we've got corn red as his base colour for anything that looked fleshy with a coating of Blood for the Blood God, which is a technical paint which really does make it look like he's raw and bleeding. Uh, then for the bony parts, we've got Right Cling Flesh, which is my go-to for bone, with a coating of the Wash Right Cling Flesh shade, which just makes it look so much like bone. Um, honestly, always get a pot of Right Cling Flesh shade, you'll use it for everything. And then for, as I'm sure you've noticed, the bloodstained parts on his scully feet and his claws. Which now I look, I think I made a rib cage. Ew. I used a paint that's actually a pink contrast paint. It's called Volupus Pink. Now, it is absolutely pink, it's definitely pink, but oh my god, over certain colours doesn't it just look like but like horrible blood stains. It's amazing. And again, I'm so glad I've picked that up. It's so useful for making things look like they've died. And also to us, it's quite good for putting over things just to fill in little gaps, so long as you want it to be pinky red. Uh, the last thing is, I don't know if you'll be able to see on the figure. I hope you can, otherwise that was a bit of a wasted effort. I picked out one of the skulls towards the front of what I assume is its face with a very thin a layer of lead belcher which is a silver metallic paint from Citadel Miniatures. The way I do this is by getting a bit of the paint on the brush and then thinning it down with water and it gives you a sort of wash that doesn't wash out the colour underneath but does give it a little bit of a metallic tint. Mostly I did that because my husband the Baron was saying that he wanted it to look a little bit like a Dark Souls boss wherein the challenge is mostly working out which part is the head and then hitting it in the head. Or in the butt. Sometimes it's the butt. Other than that, he was a really fun paint and... Oh, I've just noticed I've missed part of his hand, actually. I'm gonna have to go back and redo that, aren't I? Otherwise it'll annoy me. Alright, well, I'll see you later. Bye!